Good morning, everyone. Hi. First of all, happy Children's Day to one, to everyone present here. I am Devesh, and I fly drones. This is an FPV goggles, and this is a racing drone. It goes super fast. I'll talk to you about all of this soon, right? So before we go ahead, like I hope you guys had a blast in the previous session. Sakshi was amazing, right, with the pop-up cubes and the Halloween candles and whatnot, right? Re really artistic and totally DIY. I hope you guys have learned something from that, and I hope that you all are having good fun, right? So I see so many people out there: Suma, Joyce, Varsha, Suma, Lata, Chinmay. Hi, everyone out there: Purvank, Arya, Grishma, Kadapa. Everyone, there's so many of you flooding it. Avnish, Tanishka, Vikas, Pratham, everyone, right? Uh, thanks a lot for coming here on this special occasion. Happy Diwali as well. Definitely go green. Do not burst crackers. It will affect the other ones who have already been affected with COVID, right? They have breathing issues. So do not uh, burst crackers because it might have some issues for them. So, anyways, go green. Fly drones, right? That's amazing. So uh, I'm here today to talk about drones. And uh, when you think about drones, it's something that you see in the marriages, the white color drone that you see, right? But that's not it. Okay, drones is way much more than just that videography and marriages and all of that. So uh, I've been into drones from the past five to six years, and I've seen the industry like it's amazing. So I want to show you a glimpse of uh, the video of what drones are possible of doing. Okay, check this out. It will surely blow your mind. Okay, the video goes here. Wow, right? Just wow. Like, did you even think that drones could carry humans like, like a bike, like a drone bike? That's crazy, right? And we thought drones is just over here, but imagine NASA is sending a drone to Mars. I think the next year, a Mars helicopter is going over there. So drones is just, it's not, it's huge. It's not small, but it's not only for the Earth. It's for the entire universe, right? It's amazing. Uh, of course, you saw agriculture and surveillance. That is somewhat similar, uh, common. But then you saw the drone swarm. It's like thousands of drones controlled by one computer, and that's amazing. And also, you saw delivery. The future of delivery is huge. Like Amazon uh, wants to provide a 30-minute delivery uh, scheme. It's called the Prime Air, Amazon Prime Air. Many other companies are doing. Dunzo, Swiggy. Most of them are trying to do that. But in the coming years. 
So drones is a huge market, okay? There's a lot of money that will be involved and there's gonna be, it's so much fun. But uh, all these that you saw was a little industrial for the elderly people, it's a little more serious and all. But we do something much more fun, like because we are so young, right? We look into racing drones. These are so small, we build them from scratch, okay? And the way that we control it is by, there's a camera over here, it gets transmitted to an FPV goggles. And I wear this and I can see what the drone is seeing and then I'm able to fly. And this freedom, uh, there are no sensors on this. So it gives me a lot of freedom to move around anywhere, between trees, above trees, between my legs, what not, right? It's amazing. So, we, uh, I started this company called Flycamp, okay? It's about training and research of drones. And we have, we have been training a lot of pilots in, in Flycamp. So, uh, we will show you who we are, right? So, you need to know who we are and how we fly. So, I will show you a video where me and my fellow pilots are flying, okay? So just check us out and the video goes here. Okay, so you saw us, right? You saw us going very close to a bike rider. That was, they were stunting and one of my pilot who's the youngest, you will see him today, he's with us. So he will teach you one really cool uh, thing to do. So you saw how close we could go even to those kids who are flying, but uh, who are actually dancing. So we don't use these kind of drones, definitely not. We use the ones that are ducted. They are covered on all sides so that Nobody gets hurt, right? Not this drone, but one other type of drone. So um, that is who we are, Flycamp, all right? So right now, let's get into the building and the flying part of it, okay? So, uh, so many people telling so many things. Uh, Purva, Ishan, Shraddha, yes, we are going to fly, definitely. Uh, Dorothy Joy, yes, uh, your ma'ams, your principal, a huge shout out to all your principal and uh, the school for uh, conducting this particular event for you all. Uh, they really care for you. So uh, give a give, big thumbs up for all your principals and your teachers, right? Thanks a lot. So anyways, let's go back to the understanding drones, okay? Understanding drones is something first. So we can start off with uh, the principles on how drones fly, okay? So if we are looking at uh, this drone, Okay, you can see this drone, right? This is the front of the drone. There are four motors, which means that it's a quad copter. Quad meaning four, tri, bi, a hexa. This is a quad copter, which is the most common one. So which, uh, um, uh, which side do these motors rotate in? So is it clockwise or anti-clockwise? So the answer lies is in, two of them have to rotate clockwise and two of them in the anti-clockwise direction. So just saying if this goes inside, which is clockwise, right? This will go anti-clockwise. If this goes anti-clockwise, this goes clockwise. And the same, this is anti-clockwise. So the clockwise and the anti-clockwise, they negate each other and it remains stable, right? So knowing which direction the motors spin in is extremely important, all right? So the next thing, what are the movements that a flight, a drone can do? One, the most important is it can go up and down, right? It has to fly, it has to take off the ground and that is called 
altitude or throttle so you put your throttle so you can go up and down so that is throttle okay next is yaw this camera is only facing forward right so think of yourself as a horse if you want to go right side you don't go right like that right but you look right and then you go front right so being able to look at which direction you want to go right so basically this so if you want to go your right or your left right so that is a yaw movement yaw next is pitch so you want to go front you so you pitch front if you want to pitch back you pitch back all right so pitch front and pitch back and the last one the fourth one is roll so you roll to the right or roll to the left okay so it's quite simple right so pitch and roll is front and back and right and left throttle is getting altitude and yaw is looking left and looking right it's not going left and going right okay so those are the four movements that a drone can do all right next what happens so uh, let's get to the controller okay so this is a regular controller it has many switches that you can customize according to your needs but there are basically two sticks but there are four movements so this left stick is called the throttle stick this is throttle you put left uh, up and down and it will go here right now this the left stick if you go left and right it will your left it will your right okay so see that pitch is basically pitching front and pitching back okay front and back movement is called pitch all right so your is looking left and looking right okay once that is done the pitch is on the right stick so if i pitch front front and pitch back and roll is roll right and roll left so roll right and roll left so pitch and roll on the right stick throttle and yaw on the left stick okay so that is an important thing as to how we can fly this so every time you have to first give your throttle right give throttle so that it takes off the ground you yaw left and or you roll your right so that you know which direction you're going and then most preferably you have to go front so if you have done this left stick properly which is your throttle and your direction all you have to do is go front and if you are going to crash something pitch back so that you go reverse all right so that is how you should control an aircraft okay so next is when what happens to the drone when you pitch and you roll or you yaw or whatever right so now we know that the motors spin in every different direction the diagonals basically spin in the same direction and these two spin in the same direction all right so this if once you throttle right once you throttle all four motors will give equal power so it will just go up correct it will just go up and if you put it down it will slowly come down simple right now if you pitch front okay if you pitch front what happens is the back two motors will give more uh, will spin faster than the front two motors so automatically it will tilt so when you give more power to the back two motors it will tilt and because of that tilting movement it will go front same thing when you pitch back the front two motors will give more power than the back two motors all right so it will pitch like it will tilt like this and it will come back that's how it goes same thing for left and right okay so for if it has to roll right the left motors will give more power and it will tilt like this and it will go here and if you want to go roll left the right motors will give more power and it will go like that so any time you see a drone flying you will always see that it is pitching i mean it is tilting it's never stable it's always pitching left right or whatever right now so you came to know throttle right all all uh, all motors give equal power pitch 
and roll it opposite ones, right? Now, your, your left and your right. So now we know that these two motors go clockwise and these two go anti-clockwise, right? So if you want to go right, your right, your right, basically like this, the clockwise motors will give more power. So when the clockwise motors give more power, automatically it will start rotating like this. And if the anti-clockwise motors give more power, it will your left. Simple, right? So the drone basically changes the speed of every motor to attain different movements. One is throttle, next is yaw, third is pitch, and the fourth is roll. So, Tejaswini, the circuit, yes, we will go into building a racing drone next, alright? So, we will go into that soon, okay? So, we'll talk to you about uh, the building process soon. So, I hope you all understood how a drone flies, right? The change in speeds and how to control the drone as well. That's extremely important. If you build a drone and if you don't know how to fly, what's the point, right? So, learn how to fly a drone and then maybe build the drone. It's all cool. Cool? So, now let's go on to the last part of this saying, which is the build part, which is the much awaited part of this. Okay? So, this is a custom ZMR 250 plug and play kit, drone kit that Flycamp has done. So this is the logo of Flycamp, right? You can find more details of a course on uh, the description. I will tell you about that sometime soon. So now inside this, we have got the base frame. We have got some uh, propellers and then we have got a component box. So the component box has everything that you need, except, I mean, the motors are already here. So we'll go into all of this. There's a lot of circuitry and everything, right? So we'll get into this. So let's first put everything down so that it's easier for us, right? And um, we'll put the propellers here, the box side. All right. So now let's talk about the components, which is extremely important. Okay. So now we know that this is a transmitter or you can call it a controller, but the technical term is a transmitter. So this transmits the signal basically it sends the signal what the pilot wants right i want the drone to pitch front so i'm sending that signal right so now once it is sent something should accept it something should receive it right for that we will find this it is a receiver okay any transmitter or receiver will have an antenna it has to have an antenna to send and to receive right so this is the antenna for the transmitter and this is the antenna for the receiver it's really small it's a nano receiver by the way for this particular thing okay so antennas come in various sizes shapes and everything but we know that this is a receiver okay so it transmits and we receive it in using this component right so next we have to make sense of it. We have to give it to the brain of the drone so that the drone can understand what the pilot wants to do. So there comes the flight controller. So if you can see this, this is what a flight controller looks like. This is a very simple one for it's a racing grade. All right. So you can see multiple connectors. This is the power and these are the motor ones and this is the receiver connector. All right. So basically, this is how a flight controller will look. Too many components like resistors, capacitors, inverters, ICs, everything on it. So now, next is the flight controller, right? So basically, let's place the flight controller onto this, okay? So it always goes in the middle of the drone, okay? So next is... Um, so once we receive the signals, the flight controller will understand what the pilot needs and he will translate it. Like if it wants to go front, it will tell that, okay, back two motors speed up, the front two motors speed down. Or if it is yaw, it will tell diagonal motors speed up, the other diagonal slow down, right? All of that is being done by the flight controller. So now we have to connect the receiver to the flight controller. It's quite simple. 
and this is how the connection goes. You don't have to solder this, but we have made it into a plug and play kit, so it's much more easier, right? So uh, we'll just put the receiver underneath this drone, under the flight controller, and we can keep it, okay? Now the flight controller is moving, okay? And we cannot allow that. So we will just use spacers, okay? Spacers is a really tiny component. It's like, but it's got holes on either sides. So I can just put it down, okay? So once I screw it down, right? You will see that the flight controller will not move, okay? So that's cool. So now we know that it's a pitch movement and we need to connect the, the flight controller with the motor. We cannot connect it directly. There is a middle component and that is the speed controller. A speed controller basically controls the speed of individual motors. Every motor needs a speed controller, right? So we can see that one side, the speed controller connects to the flight controller and the other side, the speed controller connects to the motor. So that is how you connect. So the motor, the speed controller, and then the flight controller. Cool. And then the receiver, the receiver is somewhere here. Understood? It comes from the receiver, goes to the flight controller, sends individual signals to the speed controller and the speed controller changes the speed of the individual motors. So now there are four motors, which means there has to be four speed controllers. Now I will just connect all the four speed controllers and there is a particular way that you have to connect it. You cannot connect it ultra and expect it to fly. It will definitely not fly. Right? So, okay, now I'm just putting it down so that it's much more neater. All right? And now see this. Right? Pretty cool, right, Grishma? Awesome. So, we can see that all the connections are done. And basically, these are the components. These are the components that you need for any drone to fly. The transmitter, right? The transmitter, then you receive the signals using a receiver. You send it to the brain of the controller, brain of the drone, which is the flight controller. Then it sends four signals to each speed controller so that it can change the speed of every motor, right? So that is what this is. Now we can, this is a top plate basically, right? So we can put a top plate up over here and we can screw it down. So there is, we use a special screw which is called a hex screw, okay? And for the hex screw, there is a hex screwdriver. It's not like the plus or the star screw that you use, which is very common. Uh, hex screwdrivers are much more industry grade. So uh, it's much more tighter and it's much better, all right? So we just put the screws in. There are four in each corner. And there is one component, one particular component that I would like to talk about. And that is called the standoffs. The standoffs are these purple ones, which gives the height to a drone, right? So we need to understand the height of the drone so that we don't touch every component and everything. And then it is done. So this is the standoff. So the standoff is done. The top plate is done. The connections are ready. Now, what do we have left is once the motors spin, it's not going to fly because we need propellers, right? So now let us, if you can see the diagonal ones have a different lock nut. So this is called a propeller nut. Okay. It holds the propeller with the motor. Otherwise, see, the motor doesn't move with the propeller. So we need to put the propeller nut on top of this, right? So if you can see, the diagonal ones are of different, um, okay. So the diagonal ones are of different colors so that we know which is clockwise and anti-clockwise, right? So the same thing for the third and the fourth. We can put the third one over here and the fourth one over here and then we can lock it now just like how us 
Okay, so uh, can we use it without the top plate? Is it so, um, Aishwarya? Uh, it you could definitely. There's no harm in it, but then when you crash it, which you will, right? That time it will be a problem. Your electronics will get damaged, and you don't want that, right? So, uh, yes. Where did you get the? Uh, we buy all the components from online stores. Okay, so. We can buy it online, not Amazon, but there are custom hobby grade stores that you can uh, do. So Pratham, can we make a wire drone? Yes, there is a wire drone. So this is a prop wrench, just like how a screw is for a screwdriver, a prop wrench is for a prop nut. So we can just tighten the prop over here like this. We cannot use a screwdriver for this, right? So this is that. And now for the other ones, it is this. We just tighten it so that the propeller and the motor spin together. All right. Okay. Okay. So now we have got that. The drone looks proper. And then look at that. It does spin with it, right? Okay. Last but not the least is this. And this is called a battery strap. You need to be able to strap the battery so that you can put it on top of this, right? So a battery can be of different sizes. For this particular drone, the battery is in the back. It's quite small, all right? So this basically was the complete build of the drone. These are racing drones and these go really fast. So for that particular reason, we will not be switching this on because we need a lot of space, a lot of setup has to be done and building a drone is not this easy, okay? This is particularly for, uh, for this particular uh, kit. It's for kids to be able to build a drone as easy and fast as possible, okay? So this was the build session. I hope uh, you all understood how to fly a drone, how the drone flies and as well as how to how to build a drone, right? Avnish, uh, Abzer, Suma, that's amazing, Purva, uh, yes Avnish, I hope you uh, are happy right now, uh, Varsha, okay, that, that's great that you understood, if you all could understand Triggered Gamer as well, awesome, can you give me a thumbs up so that I know that you all have understood it, right? Okay, so uh, thanks a lot, uh, cool, Triggered Gamer, all of you, uh, thanks a lot for coming here, yes? Okay, so next, let's go to the most awaited part of the session, which is called the flying session, right? So let's go ahead and start flying. This particularly is called the DJI Tello, as few of you mentioned. Uh, that it is worth 12,000. Yes, it is worth 12,000. It's got a camera in the front. It's got some sensors below so that it's much more stable. It's got propeller guard so that it doesn't crash. Even if it crash, it, nothing happens to it, right? So, uh, okay, so let's go ahead and let's start connecting to this drone so that we can start flying it, right? You remember the controls, right? Throttle, yaw, pitch, and roll, okay? So the same thing, we will do it and let me just put this drone on the ground over here, alright? So it is on the ground and I will just get the controller. And now you could uh, see the controller, you can see the screen as well and this is a basic controller right so uh, to start off there is a button over here and we can just slide to take off and let's see what it does and there it flies amazing right so now this is throttle left stick remember the same thing left stick is throttle so let's throttle up and let's throttle down Okay, okay, okay. Now we can go front with this, right? This is pitching front, and you all can see me over here. Hello, and now we can roll to the left, right? And we can roll to the right. 
Okay? So, now this drone has a really cool function, okay? And that is called a flip. So, I can hit flip, click yes, and I will just do that. Isn't that cool? Like, how cool is that? Like, I will do a back flip. And that was how it is. So, it's quite simple. Throttle, look your left or your right. Alright? So, let me just try coming a little more closer. Yeah? Look at that. So, I can your left and I can your right. And I can reduce my throttle. And I can roll right. Or I can roll left. And that's how it is. Now, let us do a hand land. And that is how you can do a hand land. So, it's a really cool drone. Alright. And that is basically how you can learn how to fly. This is how you actually fly a drone. Right. Super cool. Really super cool. Alright. So, now... I hope you all have uh, learned about drones and I hope it changed your perspective about drones and what it is. So, before we go into the last session of this, wherein Moxie FPV, the pilot who was flying between the stunt riders, is going to come up and he's going to teach us about paper airplanes. Amazing. This has a really special story behind it. He will tell you the details about it. So, before that, we are going to conduct a special session for a webinar course it's going to be a four day course it's going to be very intensive like two hours every day and you're going to go depth about drones all right racing drones in particular and we will make you build a, a make a model and everything and that is going to happen on december 14th cool so now uh, if you are interested the early bird passes we are selling it for this month and you can go to our website and you can register right away and I will see you on December 14th. It's a four day course and you can register now. Cool. So the link for this is in the description. You can just click on the description and it's called flycamp.org slash uh, webinar. So you can just go there. You will find it in a minute. So just go there and you can register. So before we go on to the next session, I would request you all because it's a paper airplane, go and get your A4 size sheet, right? I will give you one minute when so, so that Moxie can come in, but go right now, get an A4 size sheet, anything, right? Just get a paper, just get a sheet of paper, really important, run, like right now, run, go. There's nothing important, so yes, cool. So see you soon, yes. Uh, right now, I will call in uh, Moxie FPV who will come ahead and he will talk about paper airplanes. Okay, so so I'll just clear this out so that he can come in and do his things, right? Okay, so you can find the link on the corner down, right? Uh, flycam.org slash online course, right? Front slash. So go over there and check us out and do register now. So go and get your papers, right? I'll see you soon, guys. Happy Children's Day. Okay. Hi, guys. It's me, Moxie FPV, also known as Nihal. And today we're going to be building a paper aeroplane. Ah, uh, is that so boring? No, let me show you what paper airplanes actually are. But before that, drones was fun, right? We had Devesh here who taught you so much about drones and the flying, it was so cool. You should all try it. It is an experience that you don't want to miss. So you can get on to fly camp and come and join us for that. Okay, so let's go ahead and let me show you all the different types of paper airplanes that uh, many people around the world have done in this short video going up now.
no sound. Okay. So let me just repeat it. Okay. So you were not able to hear me. Okay. Now am I audible? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Guys. No Give me a thumbs yes, up. Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. Vasha, Vikas, Praveen. Okay. Cool. Now let's begin. Get your FSI sheet uh, and let's begin starting with the paper airplane. So step one, take the top left corner, fold it to the right edge. So fold it, make sure you align it properly and make a nice fold here. Okay. Now open it up. There. Step two. Take the top right corner, fold it to the left edge. Again, make sure you align it. And make a nice smooth fold. Okay. So when you do this, you will get two creases. So you can see that there are two, one line here and one line here. So on the other side also, you can see one line here, one line. Okay. So now place down your sheet. Now step three, take the top left corner again fold it to this line that you made here so you can see one line here on your sheet fold it to that line fold it all the way till here make sure you align it exactly to this line the more precise you make it the better it flies okay there you go now fold a nice fold here yeah so that is your step three step four now, if you're following me, give me a thumbs up. Okay, so step four, take the top right corner, fold it, fold it to this line that you can see here. Okay, so when you made this fold, you would have got a line here. Okay, the center of this part. So take the top right corner, fold it to this point here. So if you can see this, yeah, so we're folding it to here, this line okay so we fold that here and you will get one more line here the line you made in step two okay so if you can't see that here you will get one line here uh, so we fold it along that line okay so fold it all the way till the end yeah there we go so this is how your paper airplane should be like after step 4 okay now for step 5 fold it downward take the top fold it downward and align these two lines here okay so you can see one line here and one line here when you fold it uh, okay I don't think you can see the creases properly but on your sheet just look at your sheet you'll be able to see one line here and one line here align it to this fold here even on this side align it to this fold here so that is your step five so align it properly and make a fold okay so that okay now now when you made the fold you would see that the intersection of these two lines here would be exactly on the top okay so if you see this side also these lines intersect exactly right here okay now okay for step six we will fold the top left and the top right corners right about here and make sure both are equal see make sure both are equal and make a nice fold all to the end okay so when you fold it this is what you will get so let me show you that so I folded this here and this here so this is how your paper airplane would be okay so there we go now step six this was step seven okay step seven bring the bottom thing fold it upward and make a nice fold this is to lock the two edges that you folded here so now when you make this this is the lock that you will get okay now that is your step seven okay next now turn your sheet over to the plain side and bring the both ends together so when you fold it bring both the ends together 
and make sure that your back edge is properly aligned and the front edge so after you do that there we go after you do that make a nice fold at the bottom so you'll get a nice fold here there we go okay so this is how your paper airplane should look right now so this is almost halfway done we just have to make the wings so we'll make the wings and we'll get your paper airplane so step 9 fold fold the edge to the to the end and pull it down so you can take this edge pull it downward pull it downward so that it covers this corner here so if you see it here there's a corner here so pull it down so that you can cover the corner so the, this will increase your wingspan so you increase your wingspan the longer your paper airplane will fly so you can try it make make it as big as you can or just cover the corner for now i'm just covering the corner you can try it out in your different ways do it the same way for the other side as well okay there we go and fold fold yeah so that is almost done now open it up so when you open it up this is how your paper airplane should look like now just push the wings up so that we get a bit more of lift and take the back edges back corners take the back corners and just fold it upward a bit and this side as well okay nice Ritu you did it here okay nice Sumalata okay so now we have the paper plane ready to fly I hope you guys have followed it if you have followed it give me a thumbs up and we'll go on to flying it okay cool cool Harsha cool Sumalata cool Chinmay cool Vikas okay cool Pratham okay now let's go to fly it let's see how it goes okay so okay so now we are ready to fly give a blow for good luck that's good go whoa it came back <laughs> okay let's try that again okay there we go that was a good catch okay let, let me know how your flight went in your comments throw it across the room let me know how it went okay uh, now I'm throwing it towards you okay hope you could see that okay so that was the paper airplane which had the world's longest flight that was some really cool stuff let me know how it goes in the comments uh, try it out at home uh, it's just a really simple airplane okay yeah there's, so there's paper airplanes flying everywhere <laughs> okay uh, yeah so that was the paper airplane uh, before this we had Devesh to who made the drones and stuff like that uh, we, we at Flycamp, we do the drone courses and uh, we fly, I'm a pilot, Devish is a pilot, we do all of that and uh, you can join us if you become a pilot, uh, drone pilot like us, join us in our flying sessions, okay. Uh, cool Sumantha, it's amazing, Aditi here, okay, Harsh, Vikas, cool, yeah, Sumalata, it went far, yeah, that's awesome, Varsha, yeah, thumbs up, Chinmay, thumbs up, okay. Let me call on Devesh here to join me here. Okay, awesome. How was that guys? Wasn't this a really cool paper airplane? Like it flies so well, it glides really well. And this, the trick to this is to put the wings a little up and to fold it at the end. That's a really good trip, tri trick. So do that and go outside and fly it and it will go so well, right? So now, yes, thanks a lot, Joyce. That it was a super fun session. Uh, Jaswini, uh, Jaswi Shah, sorry. Aishwarya, Akshara, awesome. thumbs up. Yeah, Harsha, cool. super, right? Okay, yeah. awesome. So now, guys, uh, for the next uh, two or five minutes, if you if you have any questions, we would be up for answering your questions, right? For the next uh, two to five minutes maximum. All right. Yeah. Put so, out those questions. Just flood in the comment section with all your questions, even even regarding drones, paper airplanes, anything of that. So yes, if you want to learn how to make a drone, 
we will be teaching that in our online webinar course and it's a four day so we will go step by step understanding how motors work what are the numbers on the drones how a battery works everything about a drone so go over there and it's a really uh, cheap price it is currently for a four day wherein you learn you build you fly and you make a model of a drone you it is for 499 as a the early bird pass so the link is down there right so okay. you can right here it's right here so yeah. you can find it go there and put it up on your website go and find us flycamp.org that's our website you will see us on that website who we are what we do how we do everything right so yes pratham the white drone was a uh, dji tello um gautam uh, shant kumar the link was just there you can just type down flycamp.org that's our website you can just go there and you can find more details there's a webinar link you can go over there so okay i understand that you didn't get the link it's gone right now but just go to another browser flycamp.org it's basically flycamp right yeah dot yeah. .org okay. You yeah. can follow us on Instagram as well. Fly underscore camp is our uh, profile name. You can follow us for some really cool content. We put up our pilot videos as well on that. Uh, even our online courses, all our up up upcoming courses, you can check us out all there also. Subhalata, thank you. Uh, you're welcome for all of this. Legendary Cuber, you are legendary. Uh, Komala, uh, where did you get the custom drones? Sir, we build the custom drones. So you will not find this particular drone anywhere else because we have made it custom for training itself. It's custom to fly camp. So if you want any other details of the drone, go to our website. There's an email ID. Go and put it down. We will get back to you. Anything. Harsha, thanks a lot that you had a, the, so much fun. It's amazing. So uh, Varsha, Raika, the, it, it differs. Like uh, this particular drone will sell for like ten to twelve thousand, but this drone only will cost around twenty-five to thirty, and the goggles will be around. Uh, it starts from six thousand, but this thing is around forty thousand, and then the controller from six thousand to fifteen thousand. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, cost involved in this. Uh, Daryl, musical melody. Yes, thanks a lot for coming here. Uh, amazing, Tejasvi. Superb, amazing! Thanks a lot for all your uh, warm wishes. I would like to again say that Happy Children's Day and, and Happy Diwali. Yes, stay home, stay safe, go green, uh, take care of our planet Earth because that's really uh, on our hands, right? So let's not mess it up. Uh, Sides, you're welcome. Satwik, Komala, Sumalata, fabulous, amazing. Thanks a lot, yeah. Vikas, Avani. Yes, bye everyone. Yeah, bye. We'll be ending this session. Uh, have fun. Come and join us. Let's fly some drones. Yes. Okay. Thanks a lot for your time, everyone. Uh, we are gonna sign off right now. And uh, bye. And hope uh, stay for the next session.